What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new trailer breakdown, this time for Black Panther's newest teaser slash trailer slash TV spot thing entitled Rise, which just aired at halftime of the college football playoff national championship game. I guess technically they're calling this a TV spot, at least according to Marvel Studios' official YouTube page, but it is a supersized XL1 running a solid minute and a half, and while it doesn't give us a lot of new scenes, we do get to see some new shots of previously seen ones, and some new dialogue too. In that vein, the trailer opens with never-before-seen parts of two scenes we've actually come to see quite a bit in the previous trailers. First, we get a new look at the interrogation sequence as Everett Ross questions Ulysses Claw, who was apprehended after a vibranium sting went south, leading to that awesome chase scene we see through Korea in the film. This doesn't give us a lot of new information, just some other funny lines of dialogue. I mean, Ross has a new angle in expressing his disbelief that the king of a quote-unquote third world country would dress up in a cat suit, to which Claw responds basically, why don't you ask him yourself, he's right there behind that two-way mirror. This scene is cleverly juxtaposed with another previously seen sequence, as T'Challa ambushes what looks like mercenaries in the jungle. Again, we don't get much new here, but he does use the suit's claws to cut off a car door and basically floors a guy with it. We also get some new angles on the ritualistic scene at Warrior Falls. What an EW interview with Ryan Coogler tells us is a flashback before the events of the movie, but after Civil War as T'Challa is coronated and officially becomes king. But we do also see some fighting in this scene between T'Challa and Killmonger, in fact, so maybe this is some sort of trial that he has to undertake before he becomes king officially to unite the tribes or something like that. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. It seems like an interesting foible here. In the middle of all of this at Warrior Falls, we get another shot here, intercut, where Okoye, played by The Walking Dead's Denai Gurira, exclaims that the Black Panther lives. And this is, like I said, sandwiched in between two different shots at Warrior Falls, but it looks like a different scene in which T'Challa approaches Killmonger, the Dora Milaje, and a bunch of other people on a hill with his arms outstretched like, come at me, bro. Her saying that in the context of that scene definitely makes it seem that for a little while in this movie at least, Killmonger will succeed and maybe successfully take the throne before T'Challa comes to take it right back, something backed up maybe by Eric saying in that scene, it's all mine now, in what looks like really that same exact location. Speaking of Eric, while we don't get too much more detail about his motivations or his background, we do get to see that he means business in this film. I mean, from openly questioning the king to going full-on golden jaguar mode, he's a formidable enemy for T'Challa. I'm also really curious about what exactly he and Claw are teaming up to get in this museum scene. Notably, Claw isn't in that later scene, so either he was just a hired gun or Killmonger double-crosses him at some point. For a long time, I assumed Killmonger was breaking him out so they could go rob this museum. But interestingly, it looks like Killmonger steals the mask he wears later in this scene, which I think we all expect to be him breaking Claw out of prison. So potentially that museum heist is set before the sting operation in Korea, and Eric breaks him out afterwards. We also get another look at personally the scene that I am most interested in in this entire movie, Black Panther in the spiritual veldt, in the shadow realm hanging out on the spirit savanna with several actual Black Panthers. This has been speculated by many to either be a manifestation of the Panther God or potentially T'Challa communing with the spirits of past Black Panthers and Kings of Wakanda, potentially via the Soul Stone, which many think will appear in this movie. I mean, it kind of has to. Personally, I'd put my money on communing with the past Black Panthers. Maybe this takes place at his coronation. We've seen a scene where Zuri, played by Forrest Whitaker, is whipping up some kind of concoction, potentially with the heart-shaped herb. So maybe this vision is just a side effect of that. This was a pretty brief trailer so that's all I could grab, all I wanted to point out to you. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And tickets are on sale now. Did you buy yours yet? I am actually going to probably stop recording this, go buy mine, edit the video, so by the time you watch it, I'll have my seats reserved. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com. And if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.